<laughs> All right, we're recording. Hi, Stephanie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to our interview. <laughs> so Anna Marie Tolman actually started this a little while ago, and she called it 21 Days of Magic, the Magic of Essential Oils. And um, so when she first started, I guess, I'm not sure why 21 was the number. I guess maybe she just thought 21 or something just kind of stuck out. But it's expanded since then beyond that. And so now I've decided to start interviewing my cool team members too. And so tonight, Stephanie Andrews has graciously allowed me to interview her. <laughs> so this is Stephanie. And just by way of quick introduction, and then I'll let her speak to you as well, because I'm sure, you know, she has a lot of things to tell you. <laughs> but so me and Stephanie, we go way back. So it was 2012, I believe, when we first met. It was like September, I think. Yes, right after September. September. <laughs> yeah, so it was like September of 2012. And then, yeah, and so like we met each other in Maryland. And then Stephanie eventually got into the oils later too. Like once I just like started bombarding her with information on the oils. And... <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty great. Like, yeah, I think I had a Facebook class and I was like, Stephanie, come listen. <laughs> you need to hear about these oils. They're awesome. And so I invited her in and then she started using them, had some good experiences. And then I got the pleasure of going and visiting her out in New Mexico where she's located now. And actually I have to say, like, if anybody gets stamps about New Mexico, like do it because it's gorgeous out there. It truly is the land of enchantment. <laughs> and let Stephanie be your guide because she's really cool too. <laughs> Oh, hi, Stephanie. Do you want to introduce yourself further, too? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no? I don't know what else there would be to say. <laughs> well, you're really cool. You're a wellness advocate, too. And so if anybody needs to know more about the oils, they can definitely get in touch with you or me or whatever. And let's see. And you're also teaching right now, I believe, right? Is that what oh, you're doing? I'm an educational assistant. Okay. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Yes, I work, I work with middle school kids all day, every day. <laughs> no, that totally counts in my book as teaching. Like you, you know, if you, they have to be there, you have to be there. So yeah, you're definitely working with them. I feel like it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But so I said a little bit about how you got into oils, but I would mm -hmm. love to start off our interview with like more on that story. So like. How did you get into essential oils? Maybe what stuck out to you, you know, beyond me just like, you know, telling you, come listen to this stuff. <laughs> you know, you have to know about this, you know, but please tell us about your story. Well, actually a roommate of mine, her family was like super into them. And I, we've gone on a vacation and like, they had like the whole wooden box and everything with all these different oh, oils. Oh, so they I loved wasn't the first then. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so I, and I was a little skeptical, and I was over, uh, I was visiting her after she had moved away, and she, because um, she had gotten into them after that, and actually she had gotten into them when she was here, but I wasn't really interested in, in them hardly, and um, so, <coughs> you know, not, you didn't think anything of them really after that, and then you started, you know, sending me stuff, and I was like, well, if Megan's using them. <laughs> then maybe I should really look into them. And so, <laughs> excuse me. So I, um, I think I started using, I think, I don't remember. I think I had bought in the family physician kit before you came out here. I think that's what you started with was the family physician kit. And I remember that you were particularly interested in breathe. Mm -hmm, um, it was one I, of the first ones you kind of wanted to try. Like that, month before I had just been diagnosed with asthma or something and so we I was like $50 a month for an inhaler is ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> and so um and I and anyways <laughs> I still don't think it's asthma I'm, I'm not a big fan of my doctor but <laughs> that is <aside, laughs> tell us how you really feel Steph <laughs> I did really use breathe and then I really like the lavender because before I'd gotten the um what's it called um oh my goodness I'm drawing a blank now <laughs> Terra um yeah isn't it Terra Shield yes yes yeah. yeah the bug repellent right yes so before I was introduced to that I was eaten alive <laughs> by mosquitoes and so the um the lavender thing was you know another 
one that I use because I think I used like two in the family physician kit when I first started. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's usually how most people start. Like I, I confess, like I probably used a lot of lemon and then digestin and, you know, kind of played with the others a little bit and then just like over time added more. So, yeah. But I remember when we were going up to, um, tell you ride like yeah. all of a sudden like my arm was at gin and I had no idea what was going on like in the car and I had this bump <laughs> on my wrist and you happened to have a little sample of lavender with you and we put it on there yep. before to tell you right it was gone <laughs> yeah like there's an oil for that let's put on the lavender which <laughs> which I just have to say like I love it because like whenever your dad would ask me well, what should I use for this I was always telling him lavender you should try some lavender he'd be like you say that for everything <laughs> yeah. like, That's true you always have skin problems so use the lavender it's, it is true that was funny and then and he'll say <laughs> there after you left he's like ask Megan what we should use for this <laughs> Yeah, just predicting, just putting words in my mouth. But it's true, use lavender. When in doubt, use your lavender. <laughs> It'll probably work. <laughs> yeah, and so, yeah, so we'd use, use those. And then I started, um, every month I get, so, like, I'd look up the oils and what they were good for and be like, oh, well, I think I'm going to get this one. And then, so each month yeah. I'd grow my, what's it called, my collection. And to the point where my I, I had my dad make me a special um box I guess to keep them in so they weren't rattling awesome. around I love it <laughs> that's cool I'm gonna have to commission one of those <laughs> is it but, like layer one how big is the box um well it holds 30 something oils in it well that's respectable that's a good box yeah so I have all of those ones and then my extras are in the the sample one he made <laughs> nice yeah for all of you people out there who need a wooden box for your oils consider <laughs> consider mr andrews for all of your wooden box needs anyway continue yeah it's pretty cool pretty cool uh, he at it i wasn't expecting it so it was really a nice surprise for how cool Aww. it turned out that's yeah that's so nice jeez how oh, sweet but yeah so like i'm pretty sure i've used all the oils and I even and every once in a while like i had my uncle who had thyroid problems and so i was like ooh. I don't have this oil or this oil, so I should get those so I can make him a blend and share with him. And then yeah. I have um, gout issues, so I'll get the oils that are good for gout uh, and blend and share it with them. <laughs> actually, just out of curiosity, what did you use for gout? Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I don't remember off the top of my head. Well, because actually it was interesting, like, just as a quick aside, like, I had a neighbor, well, one of my friends, her husband, you know, has really bad gout. And I don't even know why, but like, I guess I gave her some deep blue and then she gave it to him and he started using the deep blue and like the gout disappeared. Like it just like, he didn't feel the pain anymore. So that was awesome. But anyway, yeah. yeah. So you have had a ton of experience then with the oils at this point, you know, I feel like, yeah, you've gotten to know them really well, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> quite all right. But yeah. Like, I think that's how we all kind of start. Like, you know, start off with a couple, you kind of learn some more and you're like, okay, all right, I feel good. All right, let's add on a couple new ones, you know, because there's always something new to try. And what's fun about doTERRA is then they come out with new oils. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, okay, now I got to learn about those too, you know, and there's just so much. And so that's really cool. All right. So now moving on, um, is there a particular oil or oils that you would like to tell us about? Is there something that stands out to you in your usage of the oils and your experiences that you want to share with us? I guess there's the two, the two main ones that I use the most often are, um, breathe. I put that in a diffuser every night before I go to bed and that actually kind of helps me go to sleep too. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know if it's the sound of the diffuser or the oil <laughs> itself. Or, <laughs> I will or, say it's pretty pleasant listening to like little droplets and stuff, you know, you know, it's just yeah, like, anyway. <laughs> I love it. And mine has a little light where it like it like slowly fades and changes colors and I like it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I do that every night and then, um, and I hardly ever use my inhaler anymore. I have my emergency one, but I never use that. Either. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then the other one that I use a lot is on guard okay. I put it before I go to bed as well. And then, um, where do you put it on my feet? On your feet? Okay. And then um, 
I also have the beadlets. And so whenever I have that little itching in my throat, like I'm getting ready to get sick or something, I pop it in there. And like, I totally, usually I would get sick around November and I didn't get anything up until the, the spring, like two weeks ago when everything decided it was going to come out all at once. <laughs> and so I, a little bit of allergies, but I haven't, I haven't had any real issues. And if I was starting to get back problems, you know, back pain or whatever. I used the deep blue and some frankincense and stuff, and it helped quite a bit as well. So it was awesome. oils. I just love them all. <laughs> I was going to say, I kind of liked your reaction before we started this interview. You know, oh, I can't decide. Oh, I like all the oils. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so indecisive. <laughs> Exactly. And they're just like, and then I could say when I put the lemon in my water and, you know, I feel like that's even helped with my digestion. Oh my gosh, yes. So, just, yeah. you know, everything. <laughs> that's true. It's like all the oils, ah, take them all. No, and it's true. Like, I really do. Like last night I realized that after I was done oiling up before bedtime, like I think I had used at least 10 oils, you know, and <laughs> And I'm pretty sure I used some more because then I put some more into my diffuser then, you know, to diffuse throughout the night when I was sleeping. And I was like, that's probably over 10 now. So I think I probably used like 12 or 13 oils. So I'm not ashamed to admit that number. You know, because I, I love all of them. I should yeah. use them and sit there and gather dust. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, well, heck, they're not going to do anything for you unless you use them, right? Another good message. <laughs> anyway. <but awesome. laughs> Yes. So I love all the oils too. And yeah, it's kind of hard. It's like choosing, you know, amongst your children or something. Yeah. Okay. Like, cause like you had to choose like the favorite scent, you know, I'd probably uh -huh. go with citrusy ones too. Like the citrus bliss. Yeah. Like I love the smell of that one. I love one. citrus bliss. But you know, when it comes to the use of them, what my favorite one, you know, would probably be on guard or breathe. <laughs> yeah i could see that yeah like and i even have to say too like when like cold and flu season comes around oregano one of my best friends which but i didn't think to use that one. Oh yeah that's a good one i use that and actually i took a capsule today because i felt a little tickle in my throat I don't feel a tickle anymore <laughs> yeah anyway cool note yeah so anyway but like there's just there's so much you can do with them all right. So now is there something now, if you were talking to anybody, you know, who hadn't heard about the oils or maybe they were curious or something like, what would you like people to know about the oils? Mm. That is a very good question. Um, <laughs> hmm. Well, that they work. <laughs> <laughs> that they work. I like the little bit of food in there. <laughs> that they work. <laughs> Because, like, for me, you know, I was, because, like, you know, it took more than one person to persuade me to even give them a real try. And so, um, yeah, and I, you know, the people that I've shared them with, they say that, you know, it helped a lot or whatever. Like, I even had a friend, she hurt her rib, and I made her a little blend, and it, you know, and it helped her, too. Wow. I forget what yeah, but <laughs> that's cool geez yeah well when you figure out that blend let me know that's kind of cool not that i have a hurt rib but i could because uh, today i went to my first class of tech uh, so. dandy app that you introduced me to on here helps a lot <laughs> <laughs> yes the modern essentials one right mm -hmm. yep 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 i love that modern essentials. so that's what you would tell people then that they work quipping skeptics <laughs> yeah, and you know, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd probably share an experience or two, but mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I don't, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty, it's pretty awesome that you could do it naturally without having to, you know, put all those harmful chemicals and well, they're meant to help you, but in the long run, yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, not that like, we have sinister companies here that are like trying to kill us or anything, but yeah, you know, when we do examine the contents, well, I love how you're kind of like, well, I don't know, maybe they are, <laughs> you know, just like, <laughs> but, yeah, no, but so you can. give them the benefit <laughs> of the doubt right now, come on now, you know, so, but yeah, like, you know, they have good intentions, but sometimes, you know, yeah, like, you know, we're finding a lot in research that, yeah, it's just no good for our bodies, and so, yeah, doTERRA essential oils really are the very best, and they're just awesome, and they're, you know, pretty easy, you know, and like you said, start out with a couple oils and just work your way up from there. But give them yeah. a try. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Well, thank you so much for letting me interview you finally, Steph. Like, I really appreciate it. Problem. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, don't go anywhere. I'm going to stop our recording and finish our interview officially. So yes, uh, All right. thank you. <laughs> And thank you everybody for watching. And so please leave a comment, give us a like, or maybe a love, or I guess you could laugh at us either way. Please don't get <laughs> <us. laughs> And so anyway, but thank you for joining us. And if you haven't tried essential oils, try them. <laughs>